Hello and welcome back to our Pokemon Infinity playthrough. We are here on part number 13. Last time we went ahead and made it to Hayesport City. We went ahead and caught ourselves a beautiful, beautiful little regional Grimer who currently is not on the team as I do want to use the team that we have a little bit longer. I said in the last episode, we have a huge level cap in this game. It's like level 150 or something. So we're good to use this for a while. Eventually we might swap out Cotton Bud as Cotton Bud has been on the team since the beginning and I do think that it's probably one of the weaker Pokemon on our team. Although dragon types are pretty cool. Contrary is a cool ability. We will see how it goes. I might decide to get rid of something else instead. But for right now, this is going to stay as the team. Last time we were also told to go ahead and look for a thief who is supposedly in the sewers slash maintenance tunnels, one of those, uh, where there is also, as we were told by this guy, a shiny for alligator. So a lot of things to do. We're starting off though by just going ahead Speaking to some people around, see if we can get any more goodies, and checking out the southern half of the city, because we stayed only in the northern half last time. So if we go ahead, go down here to the left, and we start checking out uh, the areas that we haven't been. I would use a repel, but I'm actually curious. Leafstone is a nice pickup, though. Um, I'm actually curious if we can find ourselves any other Pokemon that we don't already have. Uh, they are obviously not being one of those. We also have more Pokeballs, a friend ball, if we ever want to catch something that evolves through friendship. To be honest, maybe Eevee, <laughs> uh, if we can find one. Hardia, you can get out of here though. But yeah, I'm not going to be using repels. I might run around in the grass a little bit, but also I might go ahead and just look off screen for Pokemon in the grass as from what I saw on the wiki briefly, a lot of the Pokemon in this game are like 1% encounter chances at certain times of day. Which isn't my favorite way to implement new Pokemon into a game, but still, if it makes them rare and rare powerful Pokemon, that's cool and all. Uh, I'll probably do it off screen to find them at least, or at the very least edit out a large chunk of me just running around in the grass because that's not fun for anyone to watch. So for right now, we'll focus on zooming on through and seeing what these people have to say. They did say that the southern side had a lot of trainers, but I haven't seen any yet. I'm so nervous I've got an interview at Trident Tower. Trident Tower. Ooh, that's a pretty Kingdra statue. That's nice. I like that. Do we have anything else around here? Any hidden items, perhaps, in the corners? No? Okay. Uh, this game does, remember, have automatic item pickup if you run over it, so that's kind of cool. Welcome to Trident Tower. We have various floors that the trainers may find of interest. You're not going to describe them like the department store lady? She's a slacker. This this woman is not good at her job. This, ho uh, this tower has been used as a hotel and a research center. Geralt recently repurposed the roof as a tournament stadium. I'm curious if we can uh, get anything in here. Hello. Oh, hello. I'm a scientist. I can turn fossils into living, breathing Pokemon. Do you have a fossil? Uh, no. But if we get one, at least we know where to go, I suppose. <laughs> Hello, hello, I am a scientist. I'm working on an artificial evolution stone. I need more data before I can advance the process. I need a small sample of DNA from specific Pokemon in order to refine the stone I'm working on. I'm currently in need of a sample from Flareon. Oh, do you need like all of the evolutions to make a new stone? Or, an, or do you just give me a Firestone if I give you a Flareon? Because Kinda of defeats the purpose of me getting a Firestone. <laughs> Trident Tower has rooms for guests to stay. It's nice. Um, can I go up here? Which floor? Ooh. Uh, connection lobby. Is that for like trade evolution Pokemon or something? No, they evolve through different methods. Like the Machoke was a uh focus band. Battle Simulator and Tournament Lobby. I'm gonna I'm gonna skip out on doing that for right now. We'll just we'll just leave. We'll just leave. We have other things to do first. Uh, we will leave the tournament stuff for later on when we are more appropriately leveled and all that. Sorry, I'm currently not taking orders. Oh. Oh, <laughs> I didn't think that was gonna be a battle. I thought they were just gonna let me leave. <gasps> a shuckle. We have four times speak to bug. Even if it's a shuckle, I am not going to stay in on that. I will, however, go into Jiffy and set up the rain. That I will do. Happily. You'll happily make it drizzle. Power trick. That's scary. That's scary. It's going to rock slide me and annihilate me, by the way. 
<laughs> I'm willing to accept my fate. I will get bopped by this shuckle because it's funny. No, don't miss rocks like I gave you all the opportunity. Man. Man. That shuckle did everything perfectly. The shuckle deserved to win. I'm actually disappointed in my own Pokemon for dodging. You know what, Jiffy? You shouldn't have moved in a Jiffy. You shouldn't have. You should have taken the hit. Like a man. But you didn't. Jump Bluff can come out. That's fine. That's fine. We have an Ice type after all. Man, I really wanted to see how much damage the Rock Slide would do. I'm pretty sure it would one shot us, by the way. Because a, a Shuckle's defense becoming its attack, 230 base attack, you get the idea of how much damage that can do. Anyone that's seen, like, the damage calculations of um, Shuckle fully set up against a level 1 Lediba. Windows, now is not the time to finish setting up my PC. That was my Windows, by apparently. Um, but yeah, anyone who has seen the good old level 100 Shuckle fully set up against a level 1 Lady, but you know how much damage a Shuckle can do. Uh, I got so distracted by that pop-up. Um, Ludicolo, we can go ahead and Typhoon. I don't think we should have any issue right here. I do- oh! Oh, you're a fancy guy. He's using his trusty frying pan as a drying pan, because it's raining. <laughs> um... Um, I'm so happy that meme still exists. I'm so happy. Uh, as for Ludicolo, I feel like you are type changed, but I'm gonna Typhoon anyway. That is resisted. But it does drop the accuracy. Iron Head. I mean, I guess Bubble Beam is just our strongest move. It's a water type move in the rain. There is no reason not to do this. Super effective. Goodbye, Ludicolo. Is it fire because it's like chili in a frying pan or something? I have no idea. Juniper is trying to land Horn Leech. Oh, that's a great move. Hold on now. Yes, please. That is really nice. Between Heavy Slam and Horn Leech, that might be my favorite moveset. That's a really nice moveset. I like to take a stop here after work. It's a relaxing place to process your day. Get rid of my windows pop up. What are you doing over here? This Pikachu is my kid. That's... Yep. That's a onesie. Yep. Pokefan Reggie. Five Pokemon? Okay. Okay. Alright. It's time to test out that Horn Leech real quick. This Corsola is not going to know what hits it. Endure? Don't endure. Don't. I want to see the one shot. I want to see the four times super effective move for the dopamine into my brain. Thank you very much. I appreciate it, Corsola. Absolutely annihilated. To be honest, I would have gotten the same dopamine to my brain if my own Pokemon had been hit by a set-up shuffle, to be honest. But unfortunately, that wasn't what happened. Uh, as for Hound Hour, we can just go ahead and go into Cuba, because we haven't brought Cuba out today. Everyone has to be on screen. Everyone. Everyone. And we can just go ahead and kick it in the shins, because I don't want to risk a missing Rock Blast, because I still remember what happened last episode with Rock Blast, and it's overwhelmingly disappointing performance where it just missed everything constantly, and I don't want to deal with that. Uh, as for just Seb Striker, I mean, again, I'm just gonna go Horn Leech it. If we get Flame Charged, it's fine. We'll just recover with Horn Leech. I'm not even worried. Spark, don't care. Horn Leech, we recover. Such a, such a good move. You know, I wish more Pokemon had it. I just like HP restoring moves. I like my Drain Punches, I like my Horn Leech, I like my Giga Drains, I like my HP restoring moves. They're very satisfying. I even to a certain extent like the Shell Bell item. I just wish it was like a quarter of the HP back rather than an eighth, because an eighth is trash, but still. Gartry is trying to learn Wild Charge. Uh, it's not bad. It's not bad. However, at the moment, I'm kind of fine with just staying with Thunder Punch. Is that silly? Is that dumb to say that I'm kind of fine with Thunder Punch instead of Wild Charge? I don't love Wild Charge as a move. If it was 120 base power, I would be slapping that bad boy on instead of Quick Attack in a heartbeat. But it is barely higher than Thunder Punch, and it loses the Paralysis Chance, and Wild Charge is like the highest recoil move, because it's like a ton of recoil. What's that ball tackle? Either way, Electric type moves, Physical, bad. They're all bad. I don't want it. Uh, Hound Doom, we can just once ahead. Once again, I'm just gonna go and kick it in the shins. 
this poor Hound Doom. Bop. Beat up. That's fine. It's going to hit twice and it's going to do nothing. We are fine. And we can't miss our move unless it's holding Bright Powder, but it's not, thankfully. And this is all XP that is actually very, very needed for our team, to be honest. Us uh, we stay in and do the same thing. Because these are all level 42. Gorachu could still use the XP, but honestly, we saw some 44s before. So I would prefer to be a higher level, to be honest, especially if I ever want to start swapping my team around, because then I'm going to have to train up new teammates, and that means taking other Pokemon off the team that I might want to put back on later. Fun by just trying to learn Con Guard. I mean, it's in the name, right? It's like illegal for me not to teach it this. I haven't had my fun with Paris Song, but also Cotton Guard is it, it's kind of the thing. It's, it's, I can't I can't not teach Cotton Bud Cotton Guard, you know? I can't. I can't. My kids saw me lose. Did they battle? Can't see anything over the ledge. I was take my kid here for a bonding time. I don't know why they choose to wear a Pikachu costume. Wait, you don't know why? You are not the one doing it? Weird. But I support them anyway. That's fair. That's fair. What do we have up here? Oh, a set pop. Okay. I thought this was going to be like a route like to actually go down, but apparently not. Uh, is that all that's to the bottom left? It seems like it. Okay, bottom left cleared. What do we have over here? Cafe? Hmm, wait, Pokeball, can I grab that? Yoink. You found a twisted spoon. That might evolve Kadabra? And leftovers. Ooh, leftovers. Hold on. That's way more important. Twisted Spoon might evolve Kadabra if Miracle Seed evolved Magneton, Focus Band evolves Machoke. I mean, it would make sense, right? Spoon. Alakazam gets his spoons. Uh, I could see that being the case. I mean, we could try it pretty easily. We have a Kadabra to go and try it. But for right now, leftovers on two. I kind of want to say Cotton Bud considering it just got Cotton Guard. Yeah, we'll go with Cotton Bud. You can have it. And then we have poor Garchu, who, who is currently not holding anything. Do we have anything we could put on it? Black Bell, we could maybe move to... Uh... Yeah, okay. I guess we'll put the Black Belt on Cuba. And we'll put the Muscle Band on Garchu. That way everyone can at least be holding something to boost them, which is kind of nice. We had a old lucky egg i would put a lucky egg on garchu but we don't have that so we'll just boost his attack power by a little bit uh hi concept of breakfast lunch and dinner is arbitrary eat whatever you want whenever you want i already do i mean do it sparingly you don't want to become a victim of victim of gluttony i cannot speak today i would like one corsola cola please and a tank but i want a tank burger i want a tank burger will you give me a tank burger hold on no i i was oh, it's probably mill tank I was thinking it would be shaped like an actual model tank for a burger, which, by the way, would be amazing. But yeah, it's probably just a mill tank burger, isn't it? Man. Oh, Max Appel in the trash. Don't mind if I do. I, I'm, I've, I've given myself the idea now of a tank burger, and I actually just want a tank burger. I want it shaped like a tank. But does anyone want to give me anything in the back here? Any freebies? Doesn't seem like it. Okay. Okay. Uh, there was something to the right here, though. Yeah, there was a staircase, which I'm obviously going to go into. An empty abyss before you. Careful not to fall in. Okay. All right. Oh. We got the funky place. Okay, what do we have going on down here with the cool kids? There's nothing like an ice-cold root beer. Pokemon like to drink it as well. Root beer. I'm looking for a Staraptor. I want to trade it for my Gerda, which I'm assuming would evolve into a Conkolder. Okay. Okay. Useful trade. Useful. Another protein. Okay, we actually have some proteins. I'm going to slap them onto Cubit. I could put them on anyone, but let's be real. Cubit benefits the most, right? Because it has huge power. So we slap them onto Cubit. Welcome. How may I serve you? Do you sell tank burgers? You might. You might, you don't. Okay, but you do sell Corsola Cola, which is really good, actually. Root Bear is also really good. 150? I'll take, I'll take some of those. Sure. Sure. Uh, I also wouldn't mind having a couple more lemonades, to be honest. 
and should be fine. Again, it's not a Nuzlocke, so I don't need to, like, heal stall or anything. You come to buy me a drink? No, thank you. I know how to take care of myself. How about I buy you a drink instead? Oh, well, I appreciate that. Thank you. Dang, I love a freebie. The jukebox is playing some groovy music. It sure is. It sure is. And a root pin. Okay, nice. Nice. Okay, good amount of freebies, but nothing of note down there. No, like, quests or anything. Uh, what else do we have? We have an item. A luck incense. There is something down there. That's TM. Can I get to that? Mm, I probably need Surf to get to that, unless I could get to it from the left. Oh, I might be able to. Oh? Oh? TM78 Bulldoze. Can I teach that to Cuba? Cuba. 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 Yes, I can. Okay, Cuba is getting Bulldoze because the combination of rock and ground is a very, very powerful duo. Plus, also, Cuba is slow, but not so slow the Bulldoze is worthless. I do think Bulldoze might allow us to outspeed something. Obviously, it's not going to be letting us outspeed Zeb Strikers or anything crazy like that, but it might let us outspeed something. Uh, Gera Gera could also learn Bulldoze, and to be honest, its moveset is horrible, so why not is kind of my mindset. We need, like, Psychic Fangs or something on Gera Gera. We really do. It's its moveset is bad. It's really bad. Um, was there anything else in here that I can think of that I've gotten... Or is there anything else in here that I've forgotten? I don't think there's anything else in there that I've forgotten. Okay. Hello? Oh! Oh! I did see this alongside Grimer, so I didn't know this existed, but I didn't know it was this specific bin. It just looked out of place. An... A regional... Trubbish. I'm gonna be honest. I can't see myself using a regional Trubbish. <laughs> I, I really can't. If it lives the bite, though, I'll at least catch it. I'll be nice and catch it. It's not gonna live the bite, is it? It lived the bite! Okay, you know what? We'll catch it. Catch it. Um, I think there's a couple around the city. I imagine we'll be fine to just catch it in a Pokeball, right? It's it's a bin. We've caught a bin. We've done it. In all of its beauty. Or lack thereof, to be honest. The trash can Pokemon. As a result of urban cleanup initiatives, many Trubbish were mistakenly thrown into garbage cans. I, I feel like I can understand the confusion there. Being too weak to escape, they instead repurposed the cans as armor. What do you mean too weak to escape? They can't take the lid off the top? Maybe they deserve to stay in the bin. <laughs> um, do we want to give you a nickname? No, you're never coming out of the PC. It's just not. It's not coming out of the PC. I'm sorry. Can I steal this bike? No. Pretty messed up thing to ask, actually. Probably shouldn't be stealing bikes, but... Still. Still. I was curious. Uh, okay. What else do we have down here at the docks? Do you battle me? This area is used for docking ships. I can't remember the last time a ship came through here. Hey, okay, We have more items. An escape rope. All right. Can I interact with these barrels in any way? Anything in the barrels? Heart scale in the barrel. Nice. Nice. We could maybe go back to the move reminder and see if uh, Gira Gira can learn a psychic type move from the move reminder. I will definitely forget to do that in like 10 seconds, but the idea popped into my head for a moment and I want credit for that. <laughs> Someone would have to remind me to go and do it. Uh, let's go ahead and see if you battle. You do. You ever been to sea, kid? You know what? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I took a trip to Ireland once, and it was a, a long cruise ship over there. And to be honest, I don't know if I'd do it again. Not my thing. Definitely not my thing. I find ships kind of boring. I like internet. <laughs> uh, Alright, well, let's go ahead and give this polygraph drizzle, which is probably a terrible idea, but... Still, I don't really want to go into Garachu. This is the one big downside of my Garachu at the moment. It's an electric type that I don't want to swap in against enemy water types. It is a bit of a problem. It's not too bad because we have Magnazone. But if we ever do like a big team revamp, that is something that we would have to consider. I don't know if I would take Magnazone off the team. I don't know what I want to do with this team, to be brutally honest with everyone. I have no idea where I want to take this team. I just know that I want to swap things around and try a bunch of things. Uh, I'm probably not going to stick with just these six. Jiffy staying. 
Hubert staying. We break out of confusion, thankfully, and don't get annihilated by the polygraph that we have type effect of us against. Um, but yeah, as for, as for the team, I do want to put Grimer on the team, like I said. From my understanding, Grimer becomes a rock type, but... Do I have the heart in me to remove Hubert ever? What on earth is a Kablofish? Quillfish evolution? Quillfish evolution? Show me a giant Quillfish. That looks like a Quillfish evolution to me. Is it Water Steel? It has a chain. It looks... <laughs> I really am very simple-minded when it comes to trying to figure out things type things. I look at it, and I go, what color is it? Oh, it's gray? Steel type. <laughs> If it's green, grass type. Pink, fairy type. I really do that every single time. And you know what? Most of the time, it works. Revenge. Uh-oh. Okay. 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 Um, new plan. We do not stay in there. That's scary. Um, we did teach Bulldoze to Gira Gira. We did. I imagine this thing's gonna have some fat defenses, but still, this is neutral, and we didn't hit it, so that's fine. Um, I'm just gonna bulldoze and see how much it does. Hmm. It's not it's not incredible. Gyro ball, we just loaded speed. Okay. We should live another one of those. If it goes for Gyro Ball. If it goes for Revenge, I don't want to hit it with Bite or anything because it will become doubled in base power and it might take us out because I don't remember exactly how much it did, but I think it did like 30. So if I Hone Claws this turn, take the next attack and then Bulldoze the attack after, we KO. I could also just try and get a Bulldoze Crit or a Bulldoze High Roll, which is probably smarter. I kind of want to try and get a Hone Claws off, live, and then Bulldoze. With Drew. We outspeed a Pelipper? Probably outspeed a Pelipper. Hone Claws, Bite. Should do like half, right? Gira Gira might go down for this. Let's see. Bite Flinch. Bite Flinch. Bite Flinch. Huge damage. Bite Crit, but no Bite Flinch. And Brian is going to take us out because we're below half. That's so unfortunate. That's so unfortunate. And... Okay, we can just go into Cotton Bud. We can just Frost Breath through the rest of them. It's fine. It's fine. I'm just sad that my plan didn't work. I wanted to try and Tone Claws. I did. I wanted to be like, hey, look, the moveset's not that bad. I really did. Um, Gartu should be able to finish it with a Thunder Punch, I hope. Muscle Band boosted, remember? Huge Muscle Band. Thunder Punch, Garchu against a water type, let's see. Nice, okay. Full Pokemon though, full Pokemon though. I, I kind of like Overquill that they added into the actual Pokemon games. I kind of like it and I kind of don't. I feel like that's a more fitting evolution compared to Overquill. Oh, the lights have turned on. All right, we just battled this dude. Who else do we have around here? We have this weird tower. Uh, we have this guy. We have a policeman up here who is going to battle because it just turned to nighttime. Right, okay, I can't just go speak to him for goodies. Whoa, you scared me. Yep. 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 That might also be another Trubbish Bin right there as well if you wanted to catch another one, which at the moment, I don't feel the need to, but still, the option is there being is nice. The option being there is nice. Why am That was like Yoda speak almost completely unintentionally. I actually can't speak today. It's crazy. Uh, we get all the flinches now that I don't need them. Great. Love to see it. <laughs> Typical. And a crit that doesn't matter. Beautiful. Okay. Mm-hmm. Octillery. I kind of want to find a punch it, but we will just go ahead and horn leech and do this the smart way. I'm not going to lose my Garchu. I'm just going to do it the sensible way. It could get flamethrower or fire blast. It does learn those moves, but it's not even going to live. Never mind. Damn. That was some fat damage. Actually, crazy damage. Uh, Gloom, on the other hand, that I'm not afraid of. That I will punch in the face with a fist full of fire. And we should be completely fine. As that is not even fully evolved. 
the least intimidating thing that I've seen today. Is that Eviolite? Or does Garchu suck? <laughs> like, it's five levels down, sure, but like, that's a Gloom. Right, we should, we should annihilate a Gloom, right? Right? <laughs> I would have thought. Either way, let's go into something actually powerful, and we'll, let's just go ahead and low kick the Stantler, I guess, with q -Bert. I thought that would have done more damage. It was a higher level than his Stantler, so maybe it was Eviolite. An interesting Pokemon to slap an Eviolite on, though. Like, Eviolite Chansey, I get it. Eviolite Cypher, I get it. Eviolite Gloom? Uh-oh. Okay, we don't have ourselves in confusion. I paused. I was afraid. And Low Sweep is going to Oko, though. Nice. XP. Let's see if there's anything that you are actually guarding. Garbage can is kind of gross. What a surprise. Is this... This is, in fact, another Trubbish. Oh, this is a normal Trubbish. Well, now I definitely don't care. Get away from me. <laughs> now I really don't care. Oh, right. I'm on break, but I can still help. Here, I'll heal your Pokemon. Oh, that's very nice. I wouldn't want to battle someone who isn't fully ready. Why? That sounds so ominous. I'm terrified of this dude. Mini boss? Nurse Effie. Bliss. Uh oh. XP? XP. <laughs> Bite does some good damage. Bling? That's fine. I'm gonna go into Garchu. <laughs> Garchu, come out here and get the XP for me, buddy, okay? You just. Just don't get bought by any ground type moves, okay? Shouldn't have any ground type moves. Sing misses, thankfully. And we should be able to finish just fine with a fire punch, right? Nice. That is some good XP. 4,000 XP. Do you have more Blissies? Swino. Okay. That's not another Blissey. I'm not too afraid of that. I feel like we just go and probably that. Swino is a weird follow-up for a nurse. A very weird follow-up for a nurse. Why a Swino? Ordino I get. Blissey I get. Any grass type I kind of get, because they get aromatherapy and stuff like that. What does Swinub get? Clefable? Clefable, again, I kind of get. Moonlight and soft boiled and all that sort of stuff. Swinub, though. Swinub, huh? Maybe he just likes Swinub. Who am I to judge? Either way. Um, heavy slam. <laughs> uh, we really have, by the way, just spent, like, this entire episode just going around the rest of the city, because the city is huge. Like, we are not done yet. There was still another area that I haven't been to in, like, the middle uh, by a guy in a dinosaur outfit. So, there is still more to do. Are you here to battle or have your team healed? I can rebattle the Blissey. Ooh. I will remember that for when I inevitably eventually want to level up Grimer. Welcome to Ruby Tower. Only chance to allowed to use the elevator. Quest, <laughs> quest stay in the lobby. <laughs> what I was about to say. <laughs> Oh, I really can't speak today. What do we have over here? Welcome. How may I serve you? Ooh, market. Uh, repeat balls, timer balls. Timer balls are nice. Timer balls are nice. I wouldn't mind having a few of those for the future. I love 10. I like timer balls. Uh, quick balls are cool, although I already have some that I've still been forgetting to use. Uh, all the balls, actually. Just every type. Dusk balls are cool. Luxury balls, annoyingly, are more expensive, but they are my favorite ball design, so... Unfortunate. Uh, you're suspicious and wiggling. <laughs> I'm the egg maniac. I spend my days breeding Pokemon and selling the eggs to up-and-coming trainers. Would you like to buy an egg? I mean, kinda. There's some expensive eggs there which do tempt me. Uh, I'm kind of broke right now, and I would like to save up my money, actually, for the well in Echo Rock Town. So I'm going to hold off for now, but I will uh, keep in mind that that is there, at the very least. What are you selling? Hey there, would you like me to groom one of your Pokemon? Nah, I'm good. Um, hey, I would like to- oh. Right. Hey, if I beat you, I can use your money to buy more stuff. That's very true. That is how that works, yes. Money is, in fact, traded for goods and services. Crazy. Grumpig bite. 
Finally, Gera Gera lead walks out. <laughs> Still not a KO, but we do get the flinch. Okay, see, ever since I've asked for the flinch, like, every hit has been a flinch, but the one time I asked for it, couldn't happen. Not allowed. Tragic. Uh, Chandelure, kind of scary, but again, we could stay in, I guess, and just continue biting. Why not? Why not? Gera Gera, keep biting things. <laughs> it's so goopy looking. I, I love having this on the front of my screen. I really do. It's such a silly sprite. I love Gera Gera. Uh, it's kind of strong as well. It's nothing crazy. But it's it's kind of like mid-tier, but it's strong enough. It'll get the job done. And a love disc, which to be honest, I'm going to try and Thunder Punch because I want to use Garchu more. And now that it's level 40, it should be able to deal with things like a love disc, right? It really should be able to. Oh, it speed. Why does Garchu suck? <laughs> Garchu might be getting replaced with the Grimer. It really might. Garchu might be getting replaced with the Grimer at this rate. We'll see. We'll see. But at the moment, I am very tempted. We'll give Garchu like one more episode of Redemption because I would like to have it on my party to at least fund away with the Feraligator in the maintenance tunnels. But the second route of the maintenance tunnels, Grimer might be put on the team instead of Garchu at this rate. It has not impressed me. Maybe it won't be forever. Maybe it will be. We'll see. Um, okay. What is happening up over here? I'm trying to shoot a new segment right now. Sorry. Okay, but I want to speak to them. Okay, I ran a step too far. Meep, meep. Meep from Phineas and Ferb. Meep. I hope that's what that was referencing. It probably isn't, but that's what I think it's referencing. <laughs> so... <laughs> Irish song. Yeah, that's annoying. Um, I could just swap around and be completely fine, but also I imagine a horn leech. Oh. Well. Well. I guess we're just gonna go and sit in with Cotton Bud and we'll set up like a cotton guard or something on the turn where it KOs itself. I suppose that's how we're gonna do it. And we get paralyzed by bounce. That is unfortunate. But between the leftovers, um, the parish count, and the cotton guard, I imagine we'll be fine. He withdrew. How dare he be smart? How dare he? Also, this is a fairy type, which I have contrary. <laughs> Some someone the second that I removed parish song was ready to type. You absolute idiot. And you know what? Fair. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, that was pretty stupid of me, wasn't it? Yeah, contrary Cotton Guard. What a what a great move set that I have planned. Hmm, <laughs> my my master scheme of how to KO my own Pokemon. Uh, yeah. We might have another reason other than Gera Gera to go back to the the move reminder and learn another move. Uh, maybe we should take Parish Song back, huh? That might be a good idea. Yeah. Yeah. Brew Toad. What is Brew Toad? I, I feel like I stay in. Because it's a toad. And I'm going to Horn Leech it. I feel like that's the plan. That was, in fact, the plan. That worked out very well. I still know nothing about this thing. I feel like this is the evolved form of Darpole or whatever. And every time I've seen it, we've kind of just one-shot it. So I am just not afraid of it. Hubert is trying to learn Arm Frost. Uh, nah, nah, we'd have to hit all five to be better than low sweep, so I'd rather just keep with low sweep, to be honest. Uh, play token, come back out, it's probably going to Paris song me again, that's fine, I'm just going to horn leech. I would love to horn leech with a swagger boost, I would love that, that would make me very happy inside. Yep, typical, okay, alright, that's fine, we're going to try it one more time though. Double slap? That's fine. Slap the tree. You think slapping a tree is going to do anything? You're silly. You're an idiot, Politoed. You should have parasonged. Unless I hit myself. In which case, you know what? Do what you want. But I didn't. So slapping the tree was silly. There we go. Goodbye, Politoed. Okay. I think there's one more Pokemon as well. Sadly, Karchu isn't getting any of the XP for this again, but uh, it is what it is. 
Electrode. I'm gonna stay in and horn leech again. And let's hope that we don't hit ourselves. We don't. Okay, this horn leech might just KO. I mean, we have a pretty good attack stat as is. And we get a crit. Okay, goodbye, Electrode. Get that guy out of here. And I want to see what is going on in front of this building, as this is the last thing that we still have to do before the tunnels. This is Monica Moonstone with Hayesport News, reporting live from the Hayesport department store. We're out here trying to give away a free bicycle. Hi. Hi, me? You're the first person to come along and win our quiz show segment. Uh-oh. And who do we have here? Carlos, why I do believe we have a special guest with us today. This is Carlos, the recent star of our own local mystery. I haven't solved anything yet. For those just tuning in, Carlos showed up on our island days ago with no recollection of how they got here. Oh, that kind of... Yeah, 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 that's true. How exciting to have a guest celebrity on the show. Oh, Carlos, you've come just in time to try and win the highly coveted bicycle. All you have to do is answer three quiz questions correctly in a row. Would you like to try? Yeah. All right, let's go. Question one. An orange berry will cure a Pokemon of poison. Do you take me for an idiot? No. What is this? Question two. A Kadabra will evolve into Alakazam if it levels up while holding a Twisted Spoon. I mean, that was my theory. That... Uh, yeah? I, I feel like that sounds reasonable. Okay, nice. Okay, they confirmed my theory from before, which is kind of cool. Question three. The celebration in Echo Rock Town, which is held annually, is referred to as the Kronos Festival. Koros Festival. Kron I don't remember if there was an R or not. I feel like it was Koros Festival. But Kronos means time. And is it... I feel like it was Koros. That is correct. I don't know if it was actually Coral or if I'm just imagining it. Congratulations, Carlos. You've won our quiz show. Here is your prize. We got ourselves a bicycle. Nice. Thank you for playing. This has been Monica Moonstone with Hayesport News. Thank you for joining us. We will see you next time. Nice. Nice. That does leave us with the department store, which, to be honest, I could go ahead and explore, but I, I feel like that is a good point to wrap up for today. Next time, we will go into the maintenance tunnels, as this episode was a lot longer than I thought of me just going around the bottom half of the city, because the city is four cities combined into one. <laughs> so if you guys have enjoyed this episode, leave a like down below, hit the subscribe button, and bye bye, do.